Hey guys, today I want to do a review of plugins for WooCommerce uh, and how to add extra fees for WooCommerce. So if you don't know us, my name is Chad Agarwal. I'm the owner of Perfect Clicks LLC. We're a digital marketing agency based here in Parsippany, New Jersey. We do specialize in a lot of marketing, branding, web development, custom software, all of that. And um, today, you know, we're, we have a client that has used this plugin for dynamic extra fees, right? So if you're an attorney, you might have extra fees for uh, the government registration or for a merchant service charge, uh, especially for service-based businesses or, or even product-based businesses. A lot of companies are adding on that merchant charge um, so that they can pass that on to the customer. So it's this, this plugin is a really great plugin. We used it for a, a while, but we've decided to switch and I'm gonna tell you why. And so while we were researching that, uh, we figured we'd share this information with you because you could choose the best plugin or you can ask us to help install it for you, test it and make sure that it works for you as well. So uh, we do have plenty of support packages. Ask us about it in the comments below or send us an email at info at perfectclicks.com. So uh, that store is a great plugin with WooCommerce uh, revenue with dynamic extra fees. So what's really nice about this fees, you can watch the video is that you can add a fee to any of your products. What I like is you can change the pro the fee depending on the product um, and it shows up in the cart total, which is nice because if you want your user to buy something and then do the add-on fees later, you can actually have the add-on fee show up separately, you know, after they add the product to the cart and then it's in the checkout process. It's a great way to keep your conversions high, but also add those extra fees. So I, I definitely really like this plugin. Uh, similarly, you have uh, Booster for WooCommerce. It works pretty much the same. And they have, uh, you know, and, and personally, we haven't installed this one, but it, it does work off of the cart totals. And I think it does look pretty nice. So uh, it's a great option if you're using the cart. The only problem is um, some users or some com companies might be sending out invoices. So if you're sending out invoices from WooCommerce, and you're using the orders feature, you're not going to be able to use the cart. So if you have a one page checkout or if you skip the cart and you're sending users directly to checkout, they may not see the additional fees. So in that case, there's a plugin that we've decided to use and uh, it's called Extra Fees for WooCommerce. And what that one allows you to do is add the fees at the product level. They do have some really good documentation and uh, it's pretty easy to follow, but you can add your handling charges or your shipping charges, your um, even processing charges, whatever fees or extra charges you wanna have, you can add them directly to the product before it gets added to the cart or it goes into the checkout. So it's a small difference, but a pretty big difference uh, depending on the client that you're working with or the business or even like the conversion rate that you're trying to go for because there are some people that want to see that up front rather than maybe on the back end going into the checkout or something like that. Uh, we did check out one other option to use uh, the checkout field editor by Theme High, which is really interesting because the checkout editors allow you to add some um, pricing and additional add-ons and fees uh, right through the checkout system. We ultimately didn't choose this. It's a little bit more custom, but I think it's a very robust solution if somebody's trying to build something out a little bit more customized and maybe has to have a lot of different features built in. So um, I really like all of these plugins. Uh, they're, they're really good. Nobody paid us for this or anything like that, but we uh, ultimately switched do love dot stores uh, plugin with the extra fees, but then we're also using this new plugin um, that is on the WooCommerce marketplace as well. If you guys have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments below or reach out to us at 844-425-4257 or info at perfectclicks.com. We look forward to working with you guys. And if you could, please do leave a like and subscribe as it does help out the channel. See you guys in the next one.